Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So for today guys, our video is all about February finance review. So every month, review tayo ng ating finances or yung ating budget na pina set up from last month. So I do this every end of the month or first week of the new month para makita ko kung ano nangyari sa aking finances from last month. Now, what is the purpose in doing this is because you will be able to evaluate guys kung saan napupunta yung mga yung income mo o yung pera nyo, di ba? So, this is the best practice for me para every month na evaluate ko, oh, I'm overspending to this one. Oh, this is where you spent most of your money. Now, what is going to happen for your next budget or for your next finance para hindi na ito mangyari. So, this is the purpose of doing this finance review every month. Or if you know, if you wanted to do it bi-weekly, like let's say, if you want to do it on the after mo ma-receive yung paycheck number 2 mo, you will be reviewing your paycheck number 1. That is, that if yung income nyo is every first or 15 of the month or you're, you're having a bi-weekly income guys just like me so this is the main purpose of doing this kasi na -re review mo sana pupunta yung income mo magkano yung income mo bakit sa ganito laki ng income mo guys hindi ka nakakapag put up ng savings that is every month na nakikwestion ko before sa sarili ko sa laki ng income ko bakit wala akong nasa-save so this is uh, very helpful para ma-evaluate ko talaga sa lang pupunta yung pera. Okay? Now, hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Let's get to our February finance review. Let's start with our income for February 23 and that is 34,650. So, most of it are coming from my paycheck. So, that's from paycheck. Now, let me review muna kung saan napunta yung mga expenses. Guys, if you notice, hindi siya even o hindi equal yung numbers dito. That is not because dahil ano kong remaining balance power, meron pa akong naiwan na pera, but wala na yan, zero na po talaga yan. It's because meron akong mga nakaligtaan na ilagay. Uh, this is the most important thing talaga that you really have to keep in mind that when you do your budgeting tracker is to keep inputting. So for me, I've been doing this since um, last year pa and still I'm missing something. But the goal here is to be consistent at um, to continue doing uh, what has to be done. Yun yung goal natin doon. So, kahit hindi siya even or kahit hindi siya equal, the main purpose or the main goal is to keep putting all the numbers in this app. So, yun yung goal ko. Now, if you notice here, my total expenses is 33,073 pesos. So, meron pa dyan miss, missing for sure. Now, yung 21% ng expenses ko went to debt. So, that's 6,900. Let's check kung ano ito. 2,5. Tapos, 4,000. Putang ko guys, it's coming from most likely from the shoe. Hindi shoes, for sure. Um, okay, strolly nung bumili kami ng strolly oh my god and what else bumili din kami or yung installment ko for the DJI so yun yun so I can't go over with whatever the debt is now let's check with the unexpected expenses which is 21% of the income so let's see what is this Okay, yeah. So we have Cinemar since we were processing our marriage license at the time, and then of course I did had our laundry. Okay, so na laundry po kami. That's worth 458. It was unexpected because I decided na ipalandry na lang talaga yung mga um yung mga 
dapat lalabhan kasi wala na po talaga akong oras. Oras para maglaba is time consuming for me and it was very helpful kasi after namin naihatid yung 14 kilos ng mga labahin namin sa laundry shop, yun, luminis na yung bahay or let's say yung office ko. It was like, ah, uh, parang nakapag, nakapahinga din ako, finally. And with the 3,000, okay, so, bumili kami ng cellphone ng aking partner, but that is for the um, pre-order kasi siya. So, the pre-order has to have a down payment of 3,000. So, yun. So, that's what is the end expenses. Okay, I also spent 500 for my brother uniform. And the biggest amount here is nung nagpa-dentist kami, that's 2,000. So, even though that, even though na meron kaming insurance, but still, we spent 2,000. Um, kasi meron, merong part doon hindi covered ng insurance. So, we have to pay 2,000 for that. And then, tempered glass, kasi I have to invest on my phone to be protected all the time kasi nga diba ang mahal mahal and I do not want to spend another such amount if ever na masisira ito so we I have to protect so I have tempered glass ordered from Shopee <clears throat> so I've got personal which is right here let's see okay have my partner's allowance school entertainment massage okay that's all part of the okay let's see nga. and that's all foods so the next thing i wanted to review is okay, the end. where was that Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Sa part nito, I can compare kung magkano yung budget na na put up ko and if ever nag-exceed ko. So, you will see that I exceeded my expenses 20%. So, yan. So, excess ako ng 5,573. And sa utang naman, laki, 345%. Yung budget ko dito, 2K lang, oh. Tapos, next excess. So, on next month, i-update ko to, itong debt ko. Tapos, sa food ko naman, that's, <clears throat> that's fine, kasi, I'm, still have 1,000. Okay. Transportation. And medical needs. Oh, dapat palalagyan ko to. Okay. And utilities. Personal. So, exist ako sa aking personal. So, that's how I knew if yun, if exceeded ako or I'm still within the budget. But, as you see, still the same with the January finance that I'm more likely overspending some of what has been put up for the budget. So, next goal, I can't promise this March because we still have mga unexpected expenses like the wedding. Ah, yeah. So, we'll talk about that later on about the wedding, guys. So, um, it's a budgetary and civil wedding, I can say it. But still, since it was not planned, it was like immediately. Kasi nga, alam nyo naman na mag abroad na yung partner ko. And we decided to get married before he, you know, malis. So, unexpected siya still. So, that's it, I guess. So, I'm still in the process of trying to figure out if ano ba talaga yung mga, um, ano ba talaga, paano ko ba to gagawin, Okay. So, you're still with me. We're still in this journey, guys. We will be in our financially freedom soon. Um, so, 
I'm not, I'm not really proactively active or I'm not really so active with my voice right now kasi kagigising ko lang from um yun, nakakagising ko lang and yeah so I'm just looking at with my numbers here I'm really hoping na by next time is yan I must say na talagang makakayanan ko na tong makapag-save up so hopefully lang I'll just keep praying na um, wala na sa nang overspend so I think we can start with the not being overspent by April, I think. Siguro, but let's see. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you like it. And keep working with your financial goals. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope na it's nakakuha kayo ng idea on how you're going to do your finance review every month. Just like what I'm doing. And if you if you happen to be na nasa pinakadulo na kayo ng video na to guys I hope na may comment sa baba finance para malaman ko na sino yung mga naka, nakakapanood up until the end of the video so yan comment nyo lang sa finance and hit like subscribe and share this video to your friends, family that you feel na kailangan talaga nila itong um, makita para makakuhasa na ng idea on how they're going to review their finances so that's it thank you so much and hope i'll see you on our next video bye guys